Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on understanding the definitions of heat and work. Heat is something that come is energy that flows into a system or out of a system. So if you've got something that you're looking at some system and it heats the surroundings, well then it took energy to heat those surroundings and it loses energy. Whatever the energy that it had, if it heats something else, it's going to get cold. Okay, so for instance, if I have a glass of water and I put an ice cube in the water and the water's warmer than the ice cube, the water warms the ice cube and melts it. And then all the energy that was in the water went into to melting that ice cube. At the end, the water's cooler than it was. Okay, so it if it heats something else, it's going to lose energy. If it gets heated, it's going to gain energy. All right, so one of the changes in energy is, is heat. Heat is expressed as the capital letter Q. Q is heat. The other thing that you can do with energy is work. So you can push something. Okay, you can, you can push against a force. So remember work, work was equal to the change in um, in volume and also uh, had to do with pressure so the the resistance to pressure and the change of volume that has that it would have that's work so you're gonna see that energy is the change in energy is gonna be equal to two things it's gonna be equal to the heat that's put into a system or taken out of a system. So if it heats something else, it's going to be a negative Q. If it gets heated, it'll be a positive Q. Your energy will go up of your system. And the second thing will be its work. The work is either done to it or the work done by it. Okay, so if work is done by the system on, on the surroundings, then your energy is going to drop. If, energy, if work is being done to your system by the surroundings, then your energy will go up. Okay, so if I take a barbell and raise it above my head, I've done work on that barbell. Well, now the barbell has more energy than it used to because it now has more potential energy than it used to. It used to be on the floor, and now it's whatever my height is and the length of my arm above my head. So you're going to use this. This is the formula for today. The change in energy is going to be either Q, the Q, the sum of Q and, and, and W, all right? And W, remember, has to do with pressure and volume. So here's the situation. You're putting some gases in a chamber. The, ga the, the chamber, the piston can move up and down so that you can have a constant pressure of one atmosphere. Okay, so your, your pressure is going to be constant, but the way that you do that is by increasing your volume. Okay, so your, your volume is going to get bigger because you're doing something with reactant gases and it's going to make product gases and it's going to be bigger and the, the, the uh, piston will go in and out and it's able to keep uh, pressure. Also, you've got a water bath that can be measured in temperature and so if any heat will go out from this gas into the water, you can pick up that temperature in the water. Okay. So from this, from this setup, they're going to tell you two things that they measured. Okay, so let's look at this. Mixture of gaseous reactions is put into a cylinder where the chemical reaction turns into gaseous products. The cylinder has a piston that moves in or out as necessary to keep the constant pressure on the mixture of one atmosphere. Okay, that's constant. The cylinder is also submerged in a large insulated water bath. The temperature of the bath is monitored and it is determined from the data that 393 kilojoules of heat flowed out of the system during the reaction. Okay, so we've got Q out. All right, so what's happening? The water's getting warmer because the gases had energy and is losing energy in form of heat. Okay. Um, the position of the piston is also monitored and it's determined from that this data that the system does 1200 212 kilojoules of work on the piston during the reaction all right so we've got here the piston is working and it's doing work on the piston 
So it's losing energy in work, it's losing energy in Q, or in heat. That means that since I'm losing heat, it's going to be a negative Q, and I'm losing work. It's, I'm doing work on the piston, so I'm losing energy in work as well. Okay, so you're going to have a negative Q in this example. You're going to have a negative uh, work in this example. So now just fill it in. It tells you the numbers. So we're going to have the change in energy equals minus 393 kilojoules. And then minus again, since work is also minus, 212 kilojoules. All right, so your change in energy, um, what is that change in energy going to be? 600 and 605. Change in energy is equal to negative 605 kilojoules. All right, so here's your math. Math is not that hard. They're just going to ask you some questions based upon your understanding of what's going on. Okay, so here's your first question. Is the reaction endothermic or exothermic or endothermic? So exothermic means that the, that the um, heat has gone out of the system and it's actually, actually working like a product. Heat is being produced. Well, it is. Q is coming out of, the, uh, of where it was reactant and into the water bath. So that means it's going out. Exo means out. So this is exothermic. Thermic is temperature. So your temperature is coming out. Second question, does the temperature of the water bath go up or down? Well, if I'm putting heat into the water, it's going to go up. That's easy. Does the piston move in or out? Okay, the atmosphere is constant, but if it does work on the system, then the only way that it can do work on the system is the volume gets bigger. Because if your press, pressure is constant, the only other thing that would cause something to, be, to make work would be that I would have a bigger, a bigger volume. So the gases are expanding and pushing it out. So this is pushing out. Okay, what else? Next one says, does the reaction, let me pull it up here, does the reaction absorb or release energy? Okay, well, I've got a negative number here, so it's releasing energy. It's releasing energy in two ways. It's releasing it as heat, and it's releasing it as, as work. Okay, so it's releasing energy. And then the last one is, how many kilojoules does the reaction absorb or release? Be sure your answer has the correct number of significant digits. Oh, let's check that first. We have 605, that's 3, that's 3, that's 3. Yeah, that's good. So we have 6, 605 is how much it absorbed or released. It's not, you won't put the negative there because it's asking how many did it release. Releasing is the negative. That's what it means, release. If positive would mean it would gain. So 605 was just what it's asking for, 605 point kilojoules. Okay, thank you.